I'm sorry you have to play the role. Sound important. Say nothing that will implicate you and the company. Tell me, officer, what is the level of your education? You want to send me to school? You articulate wrong things so well. Well, that's another aspect of management. Promising tractors and delivering holes. Don't get me confused. Just answer my question. Pika, go out. I will not go out, Your Majesty. I'm on duty to protect you. Protecting me from what? This is a technical advisor from the company. She is harmless. Harmless? Madam, are you harmless? What a question. Hmm. So you want your problems to melt away before you attend to me? Mama, can't you see they're already transcending? Transcending to where? Transcending to where? Okay. She will attend to all of you. The bags of Naira can wait outside. We'll see to that later. My dear, can you please serve me a plate of food? <laughs> okay, follow me to the kitchen. No, I want to be served here. All the time I've been here, you've never eaten out here. So he knows of this company? Of course, I know everything that he knows. Say, I can understand why we are known. Our activities are diverse. We will willingly put our expertise at your service. Your boss must be a very discreet person. He has so much, yet very little is known of him. Yes, he believes in hard work. Even when you don't see him, he is working. I will recommend him for medals. My boss appreciates hard work. Medals? He already has medals from foreign countries. I'm talking of medals in this country. It is our duty to recognize and reward hard work. Yes, sir. You can relook into the tax situation. That plus the medal will be wonderful. No, you must pay taxes. How do you think we raise the monies for the medals? Sir, personally, I also deserve a medal. Can I give you money to buy one for me? <laughs> My young officer, that is not how it happens. We notice your hard work, and then reward you with a medal. <laughs> I work very hard. Your presence here is evidence of my hard work. We recognize your boss, not you. You can qualify for a medal awarded in your company, not a state medal. Sir, so what about the people who never had the opportunity to work hard? Our focus is on successful people. If we focus on the successful people, there will be too much work. Then who takes care of the unsuccessful people? My friend, are you not a Christian? 
I am a type in Christian attending church every Sunday. Then why ask the question? I hope you are honest. Why are you behaving so important? How do you expect me to behave when I find a new and an old servant about doing something wrong in one of our diplomatic salons? So I'm not doing anything. I'm a Christian. This man you see right here is not a Christian. I know how easy it is to convince young people to do wrong things. Why do you keep bringing me down? We were employed around the same time in the company. Oh yes, why I hung on the manager's coat? To go up, you were held down by the skirt of junior female staff. Say, was it tied to skirt? Answer your question, speaker. This man you see right here has a very close relationship with skirts. Lady, be careful with your skirt. Say, I'm not, I'm not used to wearing skirts. Just please stop this. You're making me look like a fool. I am preventing her from attacking you, Picard. Many reports of indiscipline have come in against you, and the company does not want to lose you now. Sir, can I go back to the kitchen? What did you cook? Don't tell him. Picard, respect hierarchy. Miss, what did you cook? Sir, I cooked black, uh, fresh fish in black soup with mayoka cassava. Okay. I am on an inspection tour, and a plate of your black soup will be part of my on-duty allowance. <laughs> I am also on duty. You give him a plate too. That will be mentioned in my report as misplaced of appetite for administrative food. Uh, please, I will need more cassava and fish. Here, you can add a bottle of <laughs> juice, you know. Picard, what if I propose you for a more serious function in a automobile garage? <laughs> no, I prefer this place. I know nothing about automobile. But you will learn. There is nothing to learn here. There is peace and tranquility here. What kind of peace and tranquility, Picard? The women here are either far above you or below you. There seems to be no future here. Look, you are not my father. You are not even the boss of this company. Don't make me to disrespect you. The good God Almighty is for everybody. We are just the government. We concentrate on taxpayers. It can sound like a very difficult job. It is very difficult. The problem is not collecting the taxes. The problem is the spending. Can I envy your job? Why should you envy my job? It is so difficult spending money. Often, you just look at it and wonder. Sir, here we know how to earn and spend money. If you need any help, we can give you. There is a difference between state spending and company spending. We can manage every situation. You cannot. In company spending, you spend monies earned on people and on things you know. Not exactly, sir. At times, the company is like the state. It can never be. Do you know what it means managing a whole country with all the clumsy and illiterate people? I know, sir. You reward intelligent people, promote some, and also put some in the prison as the situation demands. You keep sounding more and more intelligent. Of course, I am intelligent. That is why I'm occupying this position in the company. Can you ever consider a position in the government? I can talk about you to my boss. No. Two ministers from my village are in prison. My people will not let me work with the government. They are in prison, not because they work with the government. They are in prison because of crimes committed against the people. Yes, sir. When there is so much money, why will people, ministers for that matter, not make mistakes with a few billions? You will never understand government. Anyway, tell your boss I was around. The weather is beautiful today. Mm, Mama, life is so wonderful. I'm talking about the weather. Yes, we are all running the same race at different speeds. Must you always put that your holy thing in every conversation, my dear? So now you call your business holy thing. Ah, mama, it's not good for a businesswoman of your caliber. <laughs> what business do I have? Not to talk of caliber. Me, sitting here, is a holy person. At the same time, your business partner and daughter. If I did not understand pregnancy, I'll be very angry with you. But honestly, even the Messiah you are carrying, will not be happy with some of the things you say. Messiah or not, he's my child. Mm -hmm. Good morning, other one. You have come again. Where have you been all this while? You are not a serious disciple. I'm a most serious disciple. 
I've been educating myself to be more useful to you and to humanity. I don't know why I find it so difficult to like this young man. Mama, he's not a young man. He's a disciple. That's true, Mama. Please, make an effort to like me and use me. I'll not make any effort. I don't easily like strange people. Mama, he's been here several times and he seems loyal. I have the right to like or dislike. As a mother of a holy person, there are some disadvantages to Like what? You automatically lose your right to dislike. You have to accommodate humanity. Holy One, every time I'm in your presence, I learn so much. Do I, as a disciple, have that limitation? Yes. All of my disciples, you have one mission. To love and discipline the world. Holy One, that's what I'm personally doing. Claude, or whatever your name is, I've noticed that whenever you are here, my daughter becomes so rude to me. Mama, I am not rude to you. I cannot be rude to my mother. It's just that, at times in the presence of a prepared disciple, the teachings can be so energetic. Holy One, I have been meditating, and that's why I've come with my entire being. Meditating what? Hear yourself. I think at this point I'll have to visit a friend. Mama, he is a spiritual follower, or partner, as can be. You, as my business partner and mother. So, no clash. You see, my daughter, I am an ordinary human being. Mama, you're not. Do you know what people out there think of you? The public opinion of you is very high. Do not think you can flatter me with an educated public opinion. Mama, why should he flatter you? I speak always in the defense of peace and love. I speak for humanity. Mama, accept this young man as your child and make him as a servant. I don't want a servant. You accept him as a disciple and use him as an apostle. You don't have any right to give instructions to divinity. I'm not instructing. Say that it is a forceful suggestion. Holy One, why am I at the center of this misunderstanding between you and your mother? Claude, you stay out of this. We don't misunderstand ourselves. Claude, my mother has managed so many people and money in her life. She may appear harsh, but generally means good. Mama. If there's anything to do, please, I'm at your service. Mr. Claude, the only thing you can do for me is to eat something and then go away. I don't want to feel guilty. Mama, stop calling him Mr. Claude. I said he is a disciple. Okay, Apostle Claude, will you eat something? No, Mama. I came prepared to serve, not to eat. Mama, do you hear inspired language? I hear nothing. I think I have to go. Claude. You two may have to go. I don't feel comfortable in your presence. Holy One, how can you say a thing like that? Yes, you have to go and come back when you know my mother is around. I'm not going. Go! I'm staying. Mama! I see business is doing fine. I read about your company in almost every newspaper. You are becoming the business anthem of this country. We are doing our best, sir. And by the grace of God, business is paying. If there is any help you need, you should let me know. We really do not need help from anybody. We work very hard. God is rewarding us. You cannot relate directly with God. This is a country with a government blessed by God. <laughs> is that doctrine written in any book, sir? It is written in all books. In the Bible is full of governments. Roman, Greek, Persian, and many more. Thanks for the enlightenment. You see, the role of government in every society is divine. Sir, so what about the things we read in the media about mismanagement? The media is being manipulated. All the profits you get depends on us. We provide the security and the energy. I don't know why some people still give bribe. Certainly you understand why it's accepted. There is no business or government without a little bit of corruption. As a matter of fact, it is discouraged and also tolerated. Government is by the people for the people. 
That's another way of saying that the people are more important than the law. That is a savage way of saying civilized things. And that is a savage way of understanding. <laughs> I admire you people in power, sir. You have everything and everything depends on you. You are looking at things from the wrong end. Power comes from the people. And once the power is in your hands, you somehow forget about the people. Not at all. Power is put in a reservoir and shed equitably to the people. If you give out too much power to the people, you might drown the system. I love your explanation, sir. You are so sure of what you know and say. Of course, in governance, the most stupid things must be said with total confidence. Greetings, Holy One. It's not been long since I saw those eyes here. Yes, Holy One. So you have turned this place into your second home, huh? <laughs> Actually, Holy One, I feel more comfortable here. I want this place to be my first home. That's not possible. Ma, my faith is strong. So what? People with little faith don't come here. We have very limited space. No, Ma. No, I... I want my spirit to stay here. I can take my body away. Maka, do you have space in this house of spirits? Mama, what is wrong? Some people are overestimating you. Some of them even think you are the Messiah himself. So you want to start a new crusade in educating them? I can never be underestimated or overestimated. Should I go? Why did you come? It seems your spirit is not strong. My spirit is strong. It's just that I don't want to hear things I don't have to hear. So what did you hear? Your little conversation, which was almost moving to a misunderstanding. She is my mother, and I'm her daughter. We can never misunderstand ourselves. So don't be troubled. Thank you, Holy One. Can I be of any special service to you? It seems you need attention. Yes, Holy One. Every time I knock, a door is locked. That's not what is said in the Holy Book. It is boldly said, knock and it shall be opened. That's not the case with me. I feel like a big fish trapped in a small fishing net. So, for how long have you been having this feeling? It's sad and shameful to say, but I must say it. My boyfriend, I mean, my fiancé married another woman, my best friend for that matter. Now I understand the sadness in those eyes. Nothing is too much. Sadness should not last forever. Every wrong thing can be forgotten and forgiven. I'm a human being. I know. You were created in a divine image. You have the capacity to set yourself free from anger and any disappointment. You have heard what my daughter just said. I didn't say that in the daughter's capacity. I spoke with divine authority. What does that change? Whether you are two in one or whether you are three in one, it boils down to the same thing. We also have the same policy here, which says always protect the company's interests, never betray. There we are on the same side. Do you think we love and accept all these things we do? No. But somehow you get the best of everything. That should be understood. We bear the risk for everybody. We declare wars, we win or we lose, we take the responsibility. And you are also very proud people. Not at all. We are very confident people. Sir, tell us one thing you can really do for us as a key player in the government. We can do everything. It is for you to decide what you want. We are there for you. Trust us. <laughs> I don't know how to envy you, sir. You have nothing to envy. We are in a position of power, a position of prestige that can be lost easily. Don't ever trust ordinary people. Sir, we have made you talk too much. You know in this company we can do everything. Any day you get into trouble, we will be there for you. What trouble can I get into? I know my job. Sir, you can never say that in a position of power. Power is shaky. Not in this country. We may shake, but we are not shaking. Uh, sir, we have a small envelope for you. Where is it? We want to thank you so much oh. for coming, and we will tell our boss that everything is settled. Oh, come on. The pleasure's mine. It's so good doing this. Looking research. forward to meet with you. You see? <laughs> we are into it. Look, Mama. In the presence of new people, you should be careful the way you speak to me. My daughter. 
If my language is not robust, some worshippers may cheat you. Anybody who tries to cheat divinity is a loser. We were there in the beginning and will be there till the end. Thank you, Holy One. The freshness of your words is changing my life. I will leave this place a free person. There are so many people who are free in chains and in personal prisons. Anger is a chain and hatred is a prison. My daughter, I can also feel those words. I'm very happy to be your mother. And I'm happier to be your daughter. I thank God for being here in a moment of great illumination. I will leave here satisfied. Thank you very much, Holy One. You are not only free, you are very lucky. Whatever joy and enlightenment you have gotten from here, share it. I will. That's the only way you can plant the seed of joy and goodness. Why are you piling blessings and wisdom on her? She came here without charges. She came here free. She came here a prisoner. I have set her free. In her freedom, she will light the fire of hope in many souls. Thank you very much, Holy One. I'm so grateful. I'll come again. When coming, make sure you have a ticket from all ventures. Mama, why do you want to confuse her? She's a pure spirit. A pure spirit should never be a poor spirit. Mama, let her be. Let her carry her blessings away. She will surely carry her blessings away. My daughter, do you have fruits in your village? Yes, ma. Okay. Save Johnny. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, Holy One. You're welcome. So, are you the new one? Yeah. What can you do if I may ask? I can do many things. You can see I'm young and willing. Those are not vital qualities. To be young and willing is given to all young people. The question here is, are you capable? Capable of what? Capable of receiving and executing orders from everybody. I cannot take orders from everybody. I guess that is what you have to do if you intend to stay here. The communication officer was nice to me. Why are you frightening me? I am bringing you closer to the realities of this place. Many young girls with bright faces like yours have been here and have gone. I have come to stay. My qualifications brought me here, not my face. Look at me. I am a mother and an employee. I feel for all of you young people. I am thankful. What are you doing here? Didn't I ask you to dust my computer? It's always mistaken. Friday, hmm? I know we are somehow confused. Our home many times have turned into doubt and confusion. But being alive, we are still family. And that is what I'm trying to protect. There can be no home without a leader. And what do you want to lead? We are adults. We can take care of ourselves. You are women. Unmarried women for that matter. That is why you need protection. So from now hence, when you want to go out, you ask permission for me. And when you come back, you give me the points. My friend, shut up. Even my father is not that powerful. Kenya. If you were more educated than my entire village put together as you said, then you will understand that interim power is more powerful than 